Guru Moigit, thank you so much for all your support and donations. It's like a log of accounts and a book of receipts here. As you can see, I needed help all along the way, not just having the money for the actual recording, but even to get me there, to the bus, to get to the recording studio. And then a new dilemma. Ah, which guitar to bring? I've been in the habit of using the nylon string for most of the summer and uh, yeah, now that it was crunch time, I've only ever recorded with my trusty Martin, uh, which is a fabulous guitar, uh, but just perhaps too fabulous for my little fingers. But um, yeah, we followed the advice of our new sound engineer and producer. And on to the next disaster. Even though we missed my first bus, uh, we went for the train station because apparently there was a train at 9 p.m. Uh, it's been years since I've been to Colbert Station in Limerick and boy, has it changed. Now these photos were taken after I got in and was told that the bus had gone. Um, but I made a new discovery. Quite funny, sometimes I wonder what would have happened if I had just gone back to the car park and told my neighbour that, yeah, it was a disaster and a failure tonight. Because there, in the car park, was was able to buy a second bus ticket with the expressway bus and um, get on board this next bus to head to Cork tonight as in plan A. Uh, we're on our way, gonna make this music today. So the update is we pulled in to Limerick and we saw the bus leaving for Cork, the one that I bought a bus, tic bus ticket for. And then we ran over here to the train station. By God, Colbert Station has some had some makeover since I was last year. It's amazing. I just want to hang out here now. The train had just gone, and then uh, I was about to give up when I saw this expressway. <laughs> Can't believe it. it. Said it was going to Cork, and I said, "Can I come too?" And so here I am. Okay, two bus tickets tonight, but we'll get into Cork, and then we'll see where we're at tomorrow. Now, I knew that I lucked out, but to what extent I soon found out once I was aboard. Hey, I just wanted to update you because um, I've been letting it leak out a little bit that I haven't been feeling great um, health-wise. And it, it's true. Um, and I think it's partly because of um, this great thing that I get to do. Um, if, you, if you know me historically, um, well, in the last five years, I suppose, I, I've just been, I don't know, experiencing a lot of anxiety when it comes to even really good things that I get to do. I just get, I just really get overtaken by sort of like, I don't know, debilitating um, anxiety. And, and, and if, if you were with me, you know, I might even be happy and feel happy. And, and yet, you know, my body kind of lets me know everything is not right and in this case um, I, I could tell because my, my skin well, just got very bad and I know that um, maybe for the majority of people when you, when you hear something like oh my skin is bad it, it's, it kind of brings up a certain idea of like ah uh, you know superficial um, discomfort or things like that but um, now that I have a moment because uh, I feel like once I land into court I might just want to put my head down and get ready for the day that's ahead really excited and I really want to thank everyone that's gotten behind the, the whole campaign to just, you know, fund this project. Um, we're, we're still not in the clear yet, it's just a, a quarter, it's just over a quarter and actually yeah. before I left a, a new um, supporter came in and we have an extra 50 euros lad so I'm really, uh, that, that boosted my morale and um, so what I want to say was if you saw me in the daylight now You've got this funky lighting here in the bus that if, if you were just to look at my skin you would see that there's like bumps yeah. and ridges and it's like dryness like scaling and you know it's just you know like sometimes people talk about ashy skin this is beyond ashy skin and um and it's not the first time i've been here so i know that the discomfort physically it's a funky old balance between mind over matter and also 
you know, I've been a year in the field, this trauma-informed training for facilitation, and of course, like all good trainings, it works on us first, and as I was making myself late tonight, I realized how I feel now, what's the difference between today and a year ago, or the last time that I had suffered um, to a huge degree when my health really crumbled in around me. Part of my mind says there's no way that I'm going to let it go get that far. And the simple remedies are just things that I love doing that I just don't do. I just don't take care of myself. So I'm I kind of like, I'm half joking, but the butt of the joke is that it's kind of true, like, you know, this management requirement. So, anyway, just wanted to check in and say, like, it's okay, I'm still alive, and sure, we'll survive. We have an adventure coming up, so, you know, just wanted to give an update, because I got another message from a wonderful soul, and I just wanted to reassure you that, hey, we're, uh, we're making our dreams come true, and there's a few, uh, teething pain roadblocks along the way. I believe that this bus that I'm on is really late and that's why there's a bit of a hullabaloo and it's quite exciting that somehow it seems like by all rights this bus shouldn't be here at this time of the day and I shouldn't be on it. But I am. So thank you to everyone who's really grateful that we had a friendly bus driver as well because with the uh, the whole anomaly in his schedule I can imagine he'd be well within his rights to be quite grumpy tell me to fuck off so um, yeah just really feeling thankful so I hope you're well tonight and I'll check in with you later Thank you so much for each and every donation, it really helps and this one caught my eye just as I left to go on this mad escapade to Cork tonight. P.S. All the other amazing things that do be happening in Cork, just caught sight of this contact improv, who's up for a dance?